Hey. Hello. Ça fait si longtemps. Chelsea, where you at? What's up, what's up? Hi again, yep. I must say that some people are really rude in here. It's kind of crazy, actually. I guess you're more rude when it's not really your name. Hey again. Hey, hey. Gaia Coelho. Just so you know, Gaia, when you ask a hundred times the same question, it's, I mean, it's kind of weird. And it's weird for me to, like, just do that for half an hour to find another question. So please, when you ask a question, do it, like, once or twice, maybe. Thank you, Gaia. People are acting so crazy on here, damn it. Crazy rude. Crazy <laughs> rude. Where is Chelsea? She's coming. Hi! She's here, actually. Yes. You're welcome. Hi! Hi. <laughs> of course you're dancing. <laughs> <laughs> of course you're dancing. Hi, Holly. I know I can treat you. It's so funny because we were talking with Jessica just before and she yeah. was like, trust me, Chelsea probably woke up five hours ago and is so ready and I was like yep <laughs> definitely <laughs> I thought you were gonna say you were talking with Jessica and she didn't like Shawn Mendes and then I was like whoa too bad whoa. how Hi. are you what it's been I'm forever I feel like this might be like what guests on Ellen feel like when you come dancing <laughs> in and I'm <laughs> so out of breath Kelly are you okay did you dance with me yeah oh yeah. How are you, Donya? Good, good. I mean, yeah. home, obviously. Yes. <laughs> How are okay, you with this I'm, confinement? I'm, uh, I'm good. I hate to say it, but I'm pretty great. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm used to long periods of just uh, hanging out and not really feeling a sense of purpose at moments or not stopping eating at moments. Um, I'm used to all of that, so... I'm okay. I with mean, it. you are supposed to be here and eat yes. French bread. <laughs> Listen, this construction zone I'm living in is so much better than Paris. I'm happy this happened. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'll take it. It's Obviously, fine. that's a joke. I know. I was just saying this morning. I was like, damn, I can't believe I was going to be in Paris right now. Yeah. With you, is that a little Nemo behind you? I love you. Have a little setup going on. A Nemo. Keep going, keep going. I saw the Hollywood one in your oh. This is this is your house? Uh this is my room, yeah. Oh, oh your room. This is my kitchen. Okay, Helly, I got the way. Okay. Go get it. Get out of here. Helly's <laughs> tired from dancing, probably. Yeah. You must be tired. You what time is it there? It's eight. Eight? Eight? eight. Yeah. Oh, oh what? Happy dinner time, have you eaten? Not yet. Oh, oh my god. I that. I cooked a pizza today and it was horrific. Like Imad called me. He was in the kitchen downstairs. 
<laughs> he called me and he was like, what is this horrible thing I'm witnessing? And I was like, you know what? Just Wait, because you were off. posting it or he could smell it? <laughs> and it, it's actually good, but it doesn't look good. So. Oh, so you were posting it or how does he know from downstairs what it was looking like? How did he know from downstairs what the pizza was looking like? Oh, he was in the kitchen downstairs. Oh, wh yeah, where you're cooking. Gotcha, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you put on so, it? Uh, tuna? No, it's good. Oh, it's an excellent yeah. pizza, well, but I think, like, the the crust, I guess, wasn't good. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I want to show you. I wonder if I still have it here in my recycling bin. Isn't that fun to look at my recycling bin? <laughs> oh, I took it down. I ordered a pizza two nights ago, and online it said um two sizes the first size feeds one to two people and the second size feeds three to four so naturally i got the second size we picked it up it was like a five foot long pizza box <laughs> i'm not lying it was delicious uh but i had i ate that for a few days what yeah i was okay with it i'm all right <laughs> you didn't have much i miss being there i want to be there right now we miss you guys oh how's the weather yeah. there it's okay. It was a bit windy today, but it's sunny every day, basically. Right. So, it's, I mean, it's, it's sad. Here, it's so sunny that you want to be outside. Like, today is clearly overcast. Also, clearly, yeah. oh, so close to me, cleaning the floor. <laughs> I to put my chair Beautiful. <laughs> nice view. Wow. Um, it's all right that way. The rest is a construction zone from the opposite building. But it's so it's so overcast today. But every other day has been so sunny and beautiful. Um, I bought a kayak, a sea kayak. So I've been nice. isolating on the ocean, um, which is fun until I have to drag the kayak back from the ocean to my house. Ooh. And it's waterlogged. And it's like 60 pounds. And <laughs> it's, it's not the easiest, but it's fun. Anyway, so all these people are right. Hi, guys. Yeah, they're so cute. How, they have a how, lot of questions. How great that Donia's doing this. That you're, cause like, what does that mean? Ella shit un kayak, donc elle sort oh, she, for Camille, there. Camille is here translating in French, whatever you're saying. <laughs> Where? Um, like, when you see the like, little French flag, she's, like, yeah. translating. She's writing. Oh. She's typing everything this in French. This is amazing. We should get her in, or I guess it would be too much talking. No, it's not about talking. It's like you can't be more than two, I think, here. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Let's, are you sure? I mean, try. I'm pressing, I'm gonna press random hope so. Is she there with you in the room? Wait. No. Oh, wait. How do I? Does any, um, no, that's not what I want. Sorry, Donnie. I'm just going to check. <gasps> Although, fine. did we know we could do this? <laughs> did you know you could do that? No. Oh, hi. I like this one. Oh, Donnie, of course you go classy Parisian. <laughs> look at this. This is what I look like when I don't get enough pizza. <laughs> okay, I just saw someone said Jorktavia, which is hilarious to say. You can't do more than two people, so okay. <gasps> oh, look, I'm in the hundred again. <laughs> oh, you just broke a lot of hearts. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'll just say like that. Color. I like this one. I'm going to try this one. Oh, it's not. I'm going to try. Oh. That's what I'm like when I'm old, I guess. That's where the grays will be coming. <laughs> oh, this one. I've never done this one. <laughs> Beautiful. It's not good for quarantine because I definitely should be going to the dentist. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll stop fucking with it. Hi, everyone. What questions do you have for Donia? Um, yeah, we have a lot of questions. Let okay. me check. Okay, what do you take? What do you take from your experience on the 100? Um, it's something that I've always known, but sometimes forget, is just to be incredibly present. Because I knew being on the show how great it was and how amazing... Um, it was to have not only a job, but a job I loved with people who were great, with a storyline that I like, I, I believed in. Like, I, as I've always said, I'm a fan of The 100. I like watching it. Um, but it was so easy to just get used to it. And now that it's gone, I look back and think, damn, I wish I had um, taken more moments to check in and cherish it. So what I've taken from that is, what else am I going through now that I could take more time to cherish? Um, 
which is a pretty powerful lesson uh, that I, I try to keep reminding myself of. I mean, there's lots of other things I, I took from it, of course, tons of lessons, tons of learning lessons and um, tons of props that I stole. But <laughs> uh, but yeah, I would say that would be the main one. All right. Uh, Sachin is here and he's writing. Sachin! Jersey, Jersey. <laughs> the show wasn't the same with it. Oh, oh my God. Jer Sachin, you just said the show wasn't the same because it's done. <laughs> oh. Do you still break dance, Chelsea? No, I've never, I don't break. Have I ever convinced you that I break dance? Because I, that was a lie. <laughs> Sachi, I miss you. Can we talk about the photo that Sachin posted today? Have you seen it yet? I have. <laughs> <laughs> what? What do you think? I like Sachin with hair. <laughs> I like Sachin with no shirt. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I was going to comment. A, who took the photo and B, pan down, but then I knew it would be creepy. Hi, Mark. Mark's on here too. Such Lee is on here too and says, hey, oh, hi. <laughs> Such is laughing at my inappropriate joke. I like Such and for Playboy. I agree with that. <laughs> Do you imagine he would just have like a stethoscope? Like <laughs> a bare chest? Like, just like uh, that. Like the scene in Jurassic Park, just leaning over to bare chest in a stethoscope. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Hi guys, is so Lee's gonna come talk after me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, amazing. I think it's so great that you've done this. Um, you're the only con that's asked to to do this, um, and it's something that we can all offer just to give ourselves here to come talk just to the people that we would love to be there with that can't and that's yeah. all on you for organizing this uh, um, yeah I think Sachin and Jared did one for was it Australia or New Zealand oh you're right I, I think it was New Zealand so but news so I wasn't asked thanks for rubbing it in uh no <laughs> I'm just, sorry <laughs> I'm just joking. I was uh I was there years ago and they do certain guests every year of course so that would um be why they did that but i i'm i just love that you're doing this i was watching jessica's she painted her kitchen watermelon color <laughs> it's a beautiful color it's so pretty and it was like beautiful behind her i'd like to think she did that just solely to have like do her audition tapes on that watermelon color just so she looks so pretty and rosy might work hey i have for the first time during this whole cluster at buck um been asked to tape an audition so auditions are starting again Okay, that's a good I know. sign. It is a really good sign. So um, it's due this week. Um, and it says filming in July. So who knows if they're going to obviously go through Ooh. with me. But um, I don't know. I thought that was some nice lighthearted news. Okay, can I tell you? And then I'm sorry for talking your ear off. <laughs> but I just thought Mark. Fine. Please life. do. Um, I had a dream, not last night, but the night before, that I. Oh, that was a crazy one. I was Harper and Harper had been gone in another world living underwater for so long. It was like the hundred was real. I wasn't an actor on it. I was actually Harper. And when I came back, everyone was 20, 30 years older. So I actually saw not the care, like the people I love are so like, Amore was so old that her hand was wrinkled <laughs> and stuff like that. Oh no! I know, and I hadn't seen Monty in 30 years and everyone's like, he's coming, he's coming. And fans had made this beautiful cast of Monty and I holding hands 30 years earlier. This is all a dream, of course. And he came into the dream and I just sobbed and sobbed and sobbed and sobbed and I woke up crying and I called him. Oh no! I know, no, it's good, it was love. I mean, yeah. But, <laughs> It was so lovely to feel like it was a closure, maybe, to the end of the hundred. I don't really know, but it was quite beautiful. Someone, Imka, this is because wow. you take so many baths, Chelsea. I dream wild because I take baths? Or maybe this is delayed. <laughs> what? I don't know. What are they talking about? It's a know. weird but beautiful dream. Like, honestly, we all miss Chris and yeah. we miss you. And I think you guys were... Beautiful, beautiful little couple. So cute. Yeah, I know. Chris was so cute. I was handsome. He was cute. <laughs> <laughs> Every time Sibyl, I look at, you look at, the, at the camera, don't you? The beautiful red teddy behind your head looks like a, a red flower tucked in your hair. 
Panera. I keep thinking it's like that salsa dancer emoji. <laughs> oh, this one. Yeah. Yeah. Like like, yeah. Uh, so, God. Oh, Slash is laughing at, at that. What is such a not laughing at? That's a pretty like, good question. It's a good height, man. Um, what is? Okay, let me just check. Who's your favorite character on the hundred? Like it's all. I always say who I would like to play, but my favorite character, it's changing all the time. But Murphy's pretty fun to watch. I think because we have this expectation of Murphy to we did sorry to be like bad as hardcore guy. He just goes through so many different changes. Um, where I think overall, a lot of people, even though they've done bad shit, still kind of remain the good guy. Yeah, I would say Murphy. All right. So you're the seventh person we're talking about, and it's the seventh time I'm hearing the same answer. It's Murphy. Shut <laughs> up! I swear to you. Shut like, up. That's crazy. Uh, did Sachin say Murphy? I don't know. But at least six. At least. Wow. Well, you know what? Even I'm Richard gonna... said Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to just balance you on my dog here while I put my tooth on. Because my hair is all over <laughs> Oh, look at that! Oh, so <laughs> um, Richard Harmon obviously is an amazing actor. So if he, he's clearly then really selling the role, you know? Yep. It says answer to Sachin's question, but I don't know what his question was. Um, oh, yes, Sachin, you said Amori. That's right. Why Amori? Because you get to then be with Murphy at some point. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, what's your My dream? My answer always is Octavia, but today it's Murphy. Today it's Murphy. Why not? You can change. Um, what's your dream role? Uh, basically, the quarantine is not a thing anymore, but it's part of a show. And it's the first show that's coming out but like a legit hardcore show, really good, well done, like HBO series post quarantine, the lead of that. So it's got like a little feel of the hundred, uh, shooting guns, always shooting guns, kicking ass and taking names. I get to eat a lot in this role. There's lots of spaghetti around and I have to survive maybe by like swimming to different islands. I've always wanted to film swimming scenes. I don't know why. So basically eating and swimming and kicking ass would be a dream role. <laughs> what about you, Donia? If you were to pick a role, what would you do? Like what genre of music or music of movies would you be in? A drama. Drama? Oh, you know what I love? Like um, movies based on real events. Like, okay. like um, the quarantine. <laughs> I Exactly. I loved When They See Us on Netflix. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I love... That was so powerful. I want to rewatch that, actually. I've got to write that down. I'm getting old now, so I write things down. <laughs> I love that movie with Angelina Jolie. I think it's The Changing? The, the Exchange. Oh. oh, what was that? I don't know. You know the movie when they exchanged uh, her son? No, like it's a with real actually, story. No. Yeah. Uh, it's a mom who lost, like, I don't know. They kidnapped her son and they bring her a different uh, kid. And they're like, it's your son. You're losing your mind. And she's like, it's not my son. That's a real story. Yeah, you should watch it. What? How long ago did this come out? Uh, I don't know. It, like the recently? Past, no, not really recent. Oh. Oh. A few years ago, though. Yeah. I'm going to watch it tonight. I've been watching, um, although you guys obviously in Europe have much different Netflix scenarios going, like different shows online. But for us here in Canada, I've been waiting for Waco to come on. It's based on the massacre cult in Waco, Texas. And uh, it, with, uh, it just came on yesterday on Netflix. So I'm so excited to start that. Um, I've been watching so much Food Network. I am a fucking boss. I'm starting to buy fruit, but I don't even know what it's called, by the way. I'm so happy everyone's on this chat because someone in the world can tell me, what is this? What? Yeah, I think someone said it's a Persian fruit, but I don't... 
it's a fruit for sure i know because i had i like what? i eat this fruit but i can't tell you the name right now it's so okay, someone's saying the movie's called the changeling so i will look that up thank you summersby mm -hmm. um when you eat this do you slice it like an orange do you eat it like an apple you slice it no you can bite it rinse it before <laughs> oh all my fruit is rinsed <laughs> okay <laughs> oh it's a khaki yes yes What's yes a thank you it's called a khaki that's what i know is a pair of pants from gap the khakis oh it's so good do you eat the skin yes oh a persimmon oh hey this is fun Let, on another episode of what's in chelsea's house <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, in, in French, it's khaki. It's khaki. In English, it's persimmon, I guess. Oh. Persimmon. It I tastes good with sugar. It's so sugary on its own. Yeah, it's already sweet. Oh, it's so good. Hey, thanks, guys. Well, I figured that out. So wait, <laughs> you just went and bought that fruit? Yeah, because I've been watching so much Food Network that I like to like pick random shit. I don't know what it is, and now I'm just going to make a meal out of it. See what happens. <laughs> You know, like all the all the all the shows. So I bought that. That was delicious. Today I'm going to make um cover your ears. It's a surprise. <laughs> it's a cookie with marshmallows in the cookie and you bite it and it's just like oh it's so good. So I'll post that later. Today I'm making cookies. Um every day I've been making something. I don't know, curries and um bread puddings, lots of desserts really. Eating a lot. Um, Are you guys eating a lot? Yeah. Let's all I... enter a number on a scale of one to ten. Five being like a normal amount before the quarantine. Ten being like this is out of control. What are you guys eating now? Because I have this number to enter. <laughs> also, that's a great question, Oksana. I'm going to get to that in a moment. <laughs> um, five. Impressive. Yeah. 11 Kate is 100 what about you Donnie? are you eating so much i was in london for a month sorry sorry, sorry. um i was in oh. london yes for a month and a half uh i just got yep. back home like two days ago yep. but in london what? i wouldn't eat much but i would eat like shitty food uh like no oh. vegetables and no yeah um, I'm glad I bought Bubblicious and Doritos, so I feel you. <laughs> and, um, well, I tried to cook this pizza today. Oops. All oh, right. Didn't work. Uh, but I, tomorrow I'll like try a strawberry pie. Oh, mm -hmm. damn. Yeah. You're going to make it or eat it? Yeah. No, make Ooh. it. Okay, post it for me, okay? I will. <laughs> I'd love to see it. Okay, someone asked, I don't even know my answer. I don't know why I'm going to do this to myself. But one of the questions was, Chelsea, if you were a man for 24 hours, what would be the first thing you do? <laughs> right? It's a weird question. I would, um, what would you do, Donia, if you were a man for 24 hours? What would be the first thing you'd do? I mean, it's obviously penile related. <laughs> That's the, okay. The first thing that would be it for yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I have to the vacuum, and then I would. No, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'd probably shake my body a lot naked in the mirror. That's, that would be <laughs> number one, and then I would just eat a lot, a lot, a lot because every most males I know can eat their metabolisms just to burn it up. So I'd eat, eat a lot. A lot. It's yeah. a lot of food. Or if I were, see, that's just assuming I'm transferring into a thinner man. If I'm transferring into a wider man like Homer Simpson, I would, I would lay out on the couch and rest a beer on my belly button. That's what I would do. That's my answer. <laughs> Hands down. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oops. I'm just looking I for some. I forgot that Kevin is trying to translate all of this. <laughs> She's trying to, but for some reason, I don't know. Um, I can't see her. I can't see her anymore. Oh. Is it because she's off? She became a man. She's in the mirror shaking her body. <laughs> <laughs> Should we 
pause? Should we try to get uh, a hold of her? Uh, no. No, let's just answer some questions. Let's okay. check okay. some questions. Um, what, what's your favorite show? Okay, it obviously changes all the time, especially during quarantine because we're all watching 80,000 shows. I can tell you what I've most recently picked up that I hated for so long is Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I hated it. Have you seen it? It's like, I, I, I don't know. First, I don't hate it, but I don't want to watch it. Everyone no. is like, you should watch it. And I'm like, no, I don't want to. <laughs> I completely agree. I straight up hated it for so long. I thought it was too happy. Like you said, you you would do a drama. I like watching drama. I like watching re like real things, as you said. And um, so I hated it for so long, so long. And I'm just kind of getting into it now. And it's pretty funny. And now I'm not entirely certain that I wouldn't make out with Andy Samberg. I might do it. I never thought before I would kiss that guy, but maybe, <laughs> maybe I would. Um, my who would not? Yeah, Succession. Did you say who would not? Yes. <laughs> oh, really? Before I was like, no, not that guy. Oh, just say, I'm learning so much about you. Um, Succession was amazing. I think overall, as I've always said, my favorite is Sopranos. Um, Sopranos oh, and oh. Homeland. Yeah. Yeah. Gina is Homeland. funny. Who, who, Homeland, yeah. Um, whoever uh -huh. said Eugene, of course, someone named Eugene says Gina, Gina from Brooklyn Nine Nine's Club. <laughs> Eugene, Gina. I was somewhere recently. Um, where was I? I don't know, but the actress who plays Gina was somewhere, and because I didn't watch Brooklyn Nine Nine, I was like, I'm not gonna go see her. I'm gonna nap. And now that I watch it, I'm like, damn it, I should have gone to see her. Yep. I slept on her. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have done that. Um, who would you choose to be in a movie with? Ooh. I mean, there's a billion people. Okay, like famous people or people from the hundred? Love, like who? I get, I don't know. Uh, Jessica had quite a similar question and she said Gary Oldman. So I guess. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Um, uh, oh my goodness. What is his name? Shannon? Such an are you on? You'll help me with this. Shannon. It's a male actor. Shannon. I have to look it up. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Um, plus also Javier Bardem always. Javier Bardem for sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, Leo. I hate to say it because everyone would say Leo, but I genuinely think over and above the pizzazz of his stardom, he is incredibly frigging talented. Leo. Yeah. Ben Kingsley. Um Michael Shannon. Yeah. Michael Shannon. Who just said that? Who said it? That's it. Ah! <laughs> you win. Michael Such Shannon. You know, I kind of have a crush on Michael Shannon. He's not like the most attractive of people. But get it. I like him. Oh. Do you want? I saw me. All right. Okay. Hey, Mark. No, no. It's me, me for sure. Let's go surprise him. He has earphones on. I'm going to tell him what this fruit is because he's been wondering too. Hey, get the fuck off the internet. This <laughs> 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 is a joke. Yeah. Hi, Hi, Mark. Off the internet? I'm not doing anything. Oh, this is, remember Donya? No, it's not. What's up? How are you doing? Good, how are you? Just chilling, working. You can see that so, Mark also stole my other beanie. <laughs> Who wears it's a it better? Beanie. <laughs> I love it. This is a Tu ne parles français? Un petit peu français. Un petit peu français. Wait, I didn't know Mark spoke French. And German. And Spanish. Okay, show up. I make the beanie look <laughs> <a bit> better. <laughs> I'm available Sa now. Sa Sachin is saying, oh, hi, Mark. Okay, this, this is a khaki. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Okay, so, but are you eating up the internet? No, no, no. Like I'm eating up this khaki? No. Okay. But you can also just go on your uh, LTE. Oh, yeah. Why am I even on Wi Fi? What the what? <laughs> okay. Nira West is saying, say something in Spanish. One second.
thing is to learn Spanish. So I've been taking in Spanish lessons online with like, but I can't pick an app. So I have three different apps. So every day, like every two hours, like ding, ding, time to learn Spanish from all three <laughs> different apps. So I'm trying funny. with Italian. It's hard. It's oh hard. God. You're in. So how many languages do you speak as of now? Three. I mean, does French count though? I mean, I of course you can. What? what? <laughs> well, it's my first one. language. It's weird. Of course, French counts. Look, I have um, um, lemon water, coffee, and a sticky bra. <laughs> and kaki. And kaki. Um, that's amazing. Italian is such a beautiful language. Yep. It sounds so beautiful. I feel like Spanish for me comes the easiest. It, I mean, I took Spanish in high school. I doubt it's because of that. I can just tell when the words end and begin. Whereas with like French or, or Italian, it's such a beautiful, fluent language. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck you're saying. <laughs> so I'm going the easy route. I'm going to learn Spanish. Um, Cam okay, someone is asking, what's your Hogwarts house? <laughs> um, I always get in trouble for saying Slytherin, but it's Slytherin. I'm sorry. In fact, can I show you guys something? I think my couch, if my couch were to have a house, it would be Slytherin. Let me show you why. <laughs> I just got this new couch and I'm so into it. It's like sexy and dark and might screw you over. It's got, <laughs> it's got, how do I even get that? It's got leather straps on the back. Oh, wow. Yes, what? Anyway, I feel like it's sexy and dark like me. So we're both Slytherin. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. Slytherin it is then. Uh, Lynn's heart. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> hey, how was the chat yesterday with everyone? Tonya, you've been so busy. It was good. I mean, it feels good to be busy, honestly. I mean, I have been busy with like postponing all the events and like trying to find a new venue and stuff. It's Wow. so tiring but yeah. it feels good because i get to talk to you guys we don't yeah. do that often and also this weekend was supposed to be space walkers five so it's a good thing to do it for fans you know and how do you feel about it not happening you know what i'm sad but okay i'm sad but for another promoter, it was the day before. Like, literally the day before their con, they oh. closed everything. I think it was the Lucifer con. And I was like, oh. whoa, if that happened to me, I would freak out. Wow. Or maybe, like, two or three days before. But, like, oh. the same week. Yeah. I, I think about that. Um, obviously, I'm always open about <laughs> my personal life to an extent, and I love going to therapy, and the therapist always says, just to share with you guys who, who are listening, that when you're having a moment of, holy shit, I can't handle this, um, we always teach ourselves not to compare, but it is a time that you can compare. So if I think, oh my God, I'm stuck at home, I can't do this anymore, I think of someone who's having it worse. And that's like, okay, of course you're sad, but if you put yourself in the position of someone worse, it gets a little bit easier to handle where you're at. Yeah. Yeah, so that's a really beautiful point. Um, yeah, I, uh, I brushed my hair and my teeth today. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, but I, I, obviously I'm joking. I, um, I like showered and felt like I'm going to be present. I'm so excited. I said to Mark, I'm so excited to come talk to Donia and everyone. And, um, I looked at him and I said, I'm really happy that I'm going to have this because it is this, this talk right now is something to look forward to, but it's no Paris with those little croissants with the raisins in them the hell is that called which one the croissant with the raisins in them it's a circular croissant it's literally in french uh pain au raisin oh pain au raisin of course yeah, yeah. I use it. it's like bread with raisins that's yeah, it <laughs> oh maybe i should make that at home as my homage whoa. to being in paris is that too intense <laughs> i whoa <laughs> you know maybe i used I'll to try. hate it and now i just love it because my mom loved it oh yeah um question i saw a good question what's your what's favorite you? blooper my favorite what blooper oh blooper oh 
Honestly, I, I feel like I've missed out on the blooper shiz. Like, I've seen maybe two seasons worth of bloopers, so I don't know. But I can tell you, I think it might have made it to the DVD, but definitely seeing it in real life <laughs> is, uh, uh, what season was it? We were in Arcadia, and everyone was coming home through the gates, and Eliza had this huge monologue to deliver in front of everyone, and she just kept fucking it up. <laughs> she was like, stand up to deliver, and fuck. <laughs> it's pretty fun because obviously anyone would it's way too many lines um but that made me laugh just to watch her stay in character with an english like um let's say a european accent and then like flip into this aussie accent when she swears and then get it back again it was like, <laughs> okay someone says they've seen it so then yeah i'm pretty sure it has made it somewhere. <laughs> how, how did you become an actress uh, I had my heart broken and I couldn't stand living in that city anymore and I had to get out and I had a friend who worked um, in the film industry and said that they went to a certain university uh, and they loved it and it was great for them and I thought screw it I'm going I was never even in film I had never been to Vancouver before I knew it rained a lot and I loved rain that's all I knew so I just happened to become an actor because some fucker broke my heart. <laughs> but it's all good now. We're friends now. And I've been on the hundred, so he can suck it. <laughs> yes, he can. Mm -hmm. um, any updates on Narcoleap season two? <laughs> I'm not supposed to announce it yet. Um... We're going to do, sometime next week, we're going to do a live stream with the Narcoleap cast, including Alex Ponovic, who's been on The 100. He played Julius. Um, and we're going to do a live, like, viewing somehow of season one. And then there may or may not be an announcement that we are filming. We're set to film, actually, in a month. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see if we can yet. Yeah. Who knows? Um, and I just did uh, a movie on Hallmark, The Ruby Herring Mysteries. Danya, oh my goodness. It was, the, it was the most amount of lines I've ever had in my entire life. It was like 12 pages of monologue. <laughs> and I, I just, like, I couldn't what? It's like talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and talking. One person has, says, what? And then I talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. It was the longest day. It was the most I've ever said, so I have no idea what it's going to turn out like. Um, we'll see. It, yeah, because it was a lot of uh, language. Thank you for standing, Narco Leap. <laughs> Chelsea Cass, yeah. That's why I hey, can't be it. What? Let's take a moment to talk about, obviously, Donia, you would see it as well, when people tag us in their posts or memes or what have you. And I, as of late, there's been these, like, pick X or Y, like Tassie or Chelsea or Maury or Harper. <laughs> lost everyone <laughs> it makes me laugh so hard um anyway the one i won was uh so anyway first of all i see that cracks me up was um imori and harper together or harper and um oh my god tassie's character echo echo jesus together and uh someone commented and sent to me this is bullshit i want you all together and i was like yeah. So if you're oh, on, I like that. Cool. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> All right. What yeah. Why oh, are you opposing everyone? Part of me? I said, yeah, like as a team, you guys are stronger. So why not? Um, I would just want to comment on Hugo, who just wants us to know if we haven't heard of a singer named Cher, that she's amazing. <laughs> no, never. I don't know Actually, who that woman is. I think I have, oh, I think I have a pretty good share impression for you. <laughs> well, um, Do it. If I could turn back time, I'd take it all away. What's up, Hugo? There's my share impression for you. That's amazing. <laughs> you should play share. Right, yeah, because I look so much better. <laughs> um let me I, see i love reading your care or your comments guys i see you mm. chelsea are you still watching the handmaid's tale who's your favorite character okay so here's the rule in this household chelsea cannot watch handmaid's tale if she's had some wine. 
because after one glass of wine, I am the most angry, raging feminist watching that show. I'm like, I am pissed off every man around me. I'm like, no, Mark, you don't even know what we felt. I was like, I can't. So I, I'm kind of banished myself because I can't even behave. It gets me so riled up. And I thought that was maybe just me, but I messaged that to my family, my sister and my mom, and my sister was like, oh yeah, no, fuck. I get so angry watching it. She's like, I fight with my yeah. husband every episode. <laughs> <laughs> so I wonder, like, do you guys feel that way? Do you feel that way when you watch it? I watched like two seasons, I think, or two and a yeah. half. Yeah. Of course, as a woman, you can't just watch the show and be like, oh, yeah, it's totally normal and go back to your life after that. You're like, right. especially when you binge watch it. Right. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, of course, yeah, like as a woman, like, I, yes, I feel those feelings will be natural. And that's why the art in that show is so good, because it makes us feel that way. But I'm like another level. Like, I'm like, fight me. Like, <laughs> I yeah. have to chill off the show for a bit. So I have watched um, just, I'm actually all the way till before the season finale on season one. So I'm at a good spot. Okay, I'm going to watch it tonight. If I end yeah. up, okay, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, Cause You Matter says I was sick reading the book, but couldn't put it down. I have heard that. I heard the book was so much better than the TV really? show. Really? Yeah. The show is pretty good. It's so incredible. So I can't imagine. But I've heard that, that the book is just like gut wrenching. Um, can I tell you what I'm reading right now? Because I'm so yes, obsessed. Yes, please. <laughs> Let me show you guys. Okay. <laughs> My neighbor, whom I just met with this quarantine because everyone takes their dogs out at the same time, two meters apart, of course. Oh. Oh, I just lost the bedroom. Okay, let's get this. I'm reading all of these. This is my quarantine book list. Okay. But I'm reading one right now called American Dirt, and I just finished it last night sobbing, sobbing, crying. It's so yeah, beautiful. Yeah. It's so well written. I would really suggest it to anyone. It's about um, a mother and a son who have to flee Mexico after uh, some pretty brutal violence, and they're um they become migrants trying to find their way into america it's so powerful oh my god it's so good anyway the woman the, uh, my neighbor that i just met she's uh she said her dream she's an english professor at university but her dream is to own a bookstore so all she does is read amazing books and vet them and so she's giving me that whole stack she's like i've oh wow i, I know so she's like i've seen them and then I cleaned them. She's like, please read them. And when you've done that five, there's five more. So it's like, what a gift to have someone that vets every book so you know every book will be a banger. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so excited. That's cool. Anyway, I obviously talk a lot. That's how far I got in Handmaid's Tale. <laughs> to the end of season one. <laughs> no, but the book is American Dirt, just in case. American Dirt. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Woo. <laughs> did All did right. you just hear a Canadian accent? Says Lies Ferreira 94. Yeah, don't you know, eh? <laughs> yeah. Um, someone said, who's the funniest on set? I always say Bob. Bob used to crack me up all the time. For the same reason that Eliza's blooper was funny, that Bob would just be laughing and silly in his native tongue. Like, he would just be so funny in his Aussie accent. And then they'd be like, and action. And all of a sudden, he'd be like, oh. And just, like, start crying. And then whip out of the emotion and just be funny again. And it was just... Wow. Too ridiculous. They had me laughing. Although in the early seasons, Jared and um, Jonathan Whitesell, they were pretty good too. They were cracking me up. Um, who inspires you? Ooh, my mother, hands down, my mother. Um, Mark shows me a lot of stick to itiveness that I don't have. Like he's hustling every day. And I don't even, I just want to nap all day long. So it's interesting to see. <laughs> The different personalities come through. Um, you do as well, Donia. You are such a boss Aww, bitch. Thank In the you. best sense of the bitch word, you are a boss fucking bitch, girl. <laughs> you're like, no, you're an international woman. You speak three languages. You want to learn a fourth. Like, you are running. Who run the world, Donia? <laughs> Trying. Truly, really, really, from my heart, it, it, you do. Thank you. So when you. you asked me to do this, I just thought of everything you've done for me and how incredible and like even all these people commenting would be because of you 
because you invited me to Paris for the first time. So I'm, I'm very grateful and you inspire me. Thank you also, very much. Yeah, also napping inspires me. So uh, <laughs> well, yeah. Same. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, is your family doing okay, the ones who are on the cruise? Thank you for asking. Yeah. So that was a crazy scenario. My family left on a cruise way before this was a thing. Um, it was supposed to be a very, very long trip. So they left like months before and were on this trip. And the whole time they couldn't get home because then they were stranded on the ship when this became a real thing. And wow. I had to fight and fight and fight to get them off. We all did. I was doing, I did interviews with ABC News, Good Morning News America. I was doing like, what? I was doing political shit, man. But they're home now. <laughs> um, it took a long time and many sad factors, like people on the ship passed away, of course, and really wow. crazy, intense moments that I can't imagine. But they're home safe. And the fandom was there for me. I said, please help sign um, a... Um, uh, what's the word? When you sign a list with all your names, a petition, sign a petition yeah. um, for me, and they did. So that was great. Oh, wow. Yeah. So thanks, everyone. They're home. What really sucks is my little sister had her first baby at Christmas, and I can't even go home and see her growing up right now. Well, my older brother is having a baby at the end of the month, and we won't be able to see the baby. What? Yeah. Where? In Morocco? Here? In Paris? No, Where? here. In, I mean, yeah, in oh. Paris. Oh. But we won't be able to see the baby until at least a month or two. Right. You want to talk about what inspires me is women who are pregnant right now. Like, yeah. I can't, I can't imagine the fear. Like, I can't, I just, what a crazy, it's a gnarly experience as is, I can imagine. And then you add this to it. Like, wow. Yeah. Oh. It's insane. Um, what what was the most emotional scene for you to shoot? Um, in season three, when Harper wanted to give up on life, um, but obviously when when we died, yeah. People have been since this quarantine. People are running out of things to post, <laughs> and I can note like everyone's going through like old set photos and whatnot. And I was. Yeah. I have so so many that are so emotional to me of just like and it, case in point why I had that dream where I was bawling over Chris um so definitely that last scene when it was the end not only of a job which is unheard of for an actor let alone your favorite job you could like imagine getting your dream job <laughs> and then it's gone but on yeah. top of that, the bigger thing is the emotional connection to your character who I identified with so much. I felt like Harper was a younger version of Chelsea in so many ways. And um, losing Chris and the family. And uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely that. Uh, okay, last question. I know it's sad. Um, let's do 101. Oh, who on the 100 would you bring back from death. Don't say Harper. <laughs> oh my god, they know how vain I am. Um, I would uh, oh, Monty's mom? Okay, that's a Harper answer. A Chelsea answer? It's gonna be controversial. But I truly feel Alexa would be so fucking badass to keep watching. I just continue. No, it's not controversial. It's, I mean, Alexa is badass. But I just feel like, like, I'm not just saying that. I truly believe Lex would be so, this, I just picture her sitting there on, the, on her um, throne, just like twirling this knife, all badass. It was badass. It made me feel badass. Like, uh, Handmaids makes me feel badass. Like, I'm just like, I got to take on the world now. She made me feel even more better. So yeah, I would say Lexa. Also Pike, just because I love Michael Beach. He's an amazing actor. Yes, he is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> also, have you, I've been seeing Adina Porter blow up everywhere. She's in like everything I watch now. So I'd like her career. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Adina <laughs> Porter, uh, it's insane. I watch her on American Horror Story. Oh. So good. Okay, that's one of my favorite. Here, this is why I miss Europe. Because when I go to Europe, I can watch that all the time. You guys have it on your Netflix. It's not yeah. anywhere here. How come? It's not on our Netflix. I can't watch it anywhere. So every time I go to Europe, it's my favorite. When I go to one of your fan cons, I get to go to one 
to marry <laughs> I also, have you seen also another tale that makes me feel uber feminist AF is um, the Jennifer Aniston, Reese Witherspoon TV show, a morning, a morning oh, Show? The Morning Show. Have you seen it? Not yet. Oh, start it. Start it tonight. I have to watch The Morning Show. I have to watch uh, Succession, I think. Okay. I haven't done that yet. You also have to watch The Office, The American. Oh, but you, Sachin got you on that. Yes, I'm yes. finishing season four now. Oh, okay, I was watching this morning and I thought, I'm so jealous of people who have seasons yet to watch for the first time. So I'm so happy that you have that. Yeah, yes, I know Pike good. killed Lincoln, okay? I know Harper was there. I saw <laughs> Lincoln get shot. It was a horrendously sad scene. But Mike Beach himself is an amazing, fun person. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just before we finish this, I just wanted to thank... Um, this girl, I think her name is Cinda, because she's actually recording like the whole thing and all the videos, and it's so nice of her. So thank you, Cinda. Oh, thank you, Cinda. For doing and this. I'm very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for doing that, um, Cinda. Of course, Donia, uh, Camille, everyone. Yeah, and thanks yes, for and joining everyone Camille for translating the whole thing. Yes, we'll see how that goes. Um, and then we are rebooked, are we not? For next year? Space yes. Rangers? Yes. So <laughs> I mean, excited. are we? Did no, we? No, I have no are. idea what we announced already, but yes. <laughs> yes, we are. And it's been announced. So I can't. In March, right? March 2021. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we might be working on something for earlier than that, but I can't really say anything because we're, you know, we're not oh, sure. Gosh. And we don't really know how this will go. Yes. So yes. when we know, we'll announce. And right, right, right. How about that? I can't wait. I just like March is way too far away, so I hope sooner. But um, it's just always such a dream. So thank you so very much. Thanks for everyone for joining. Thank in. you, and, yeah. thank you, Charles. It was a pleasure. Let's sure. talk more often. I miss I you. I would love that. I miss you bye too. Bye. All my love. All my love. Thank you.